Hi, I'm Paula. I'm a year two nursing student. My name is Beth Jacob Chow, and I have just completed my second year at NUS Medicine. Hello, I'm Hong Jun from Year Four Pharmacy. Hello, I'm Ashley, a fourth year student from Dentistry. I am Ben Sim. I'm a final year medical student, as well as the IPE representative for NUS Medicine and the Vice President for the NUS Medical Society. I had my first IPA experience last year in Year 1 with the Year 1 medical students. So um, it was a session where the Year 1 nursing students shared with the medical students how we actually do certain procedures that the doctors order in the wards, such as NGT feeding, feeding through a tube from the nose to the stomach, and administering oxygen as well. Since I haven't begun my clinical studies proper, my experience with IPE has been mainly confined to the IPE activities organised for us by the school. These include a combined project um, during which we had to produce a collaborative report and a skit, as well as a uh, project in which we had to deal with simulated patients and given scenarios together with nursing students. I've also worked together with a lot of nursing students on some student-led community projects. As part of the Interprofessional Core Curriculum, we were exposed to one IPE activity each year from year 1 to 3 on the subjects of effective communication, respect for persons and patient safety. As these IPE activities also involved our peers from medicine and nursing, we had the opportunity to work together and become better acquainted with each other. Two years ago, I was the IPE rep for dentistry. This was between 2017 and 2018. So during the year, I was fortunate enough to be involved in several IPE events and most of these events mostly revolved around giving health education to various groups of the public, including the elderly and other migrant workers. As the IPE representative, I helped to organise the first healthcare mass induction programme. It hopes to emphasise the students on their roles in the healthcare landscape and the importance of interprofessional teamwork. Through the years at NUS Medicine, the various IPE programs and the community service projects organised by the Medical Society, I've come to work with many of my healthcare colleagues over the years. The main takeaway that I have from IPE would be breaking stigmas. There's always a stigma that nurses are handmaiden to doctors, but that's not true at all. Nursing is a professional level job where we work with healthcare professionals and not for them. So what IPE does is that it brings the healthcare professionals together, may it be doctors, nurses or pharmacists, and bring them on the same page in order to bring about a holistic care for the patient. I think one of the things that people don't tell you about being a doctor is how often you work together with people of other professions, nurses, pharmacists, physiotherapists and so on. I'd always thought of these jobs as being fairly independent, but IPE really gave me my first glimpse into the interconnected world of healthcare. Working on these IPE projects helped me to see beyond the doctor's perspective that I've been taught to use and gave me insight into the different roles played by each member of the healthcare team in order to bring our patients the best possible care. My most memorable IP activity will probably be participating in the Healthcare Team Challenge earlier this year in January by working together with fellow students from the various healthcare disciplines to develop a collaborative patient care management plan. I now better appreciate the importance and value of an interprofessional healthcare team and how that ultimately serves to benefit the patient. At these events, the interprofessional element came into play. My dentistry friends and I got to observe other disciplines at work. So during an event known as Know Your Medicines, Get It Right, each of us was attached to a pharmacist and we got to observe the process known as pharmacy counselling. So the pharmacist would give advice to the patients on to how better to improve their medication regime and answer any questions they might have about their medications as well. So this was an extremely eye-opening experience as we got to see firsthand the role of the pharmacist and realise its importance in the healthcare system. My experience with IPE was really enriching and I gained a lot from it. Without this opportunity, I would not have had real-life exposure to the work that other disciplines involve themselves in. And as healthcare professionals, it is vital that we know the work that our other colleagues do so that we are able to provide holistic care for our patients. I think it's really in your clinical years, do you really appreciate your colleagues better? Like the nurses in the wards who know everything. Or the pharmacists who tell you, it's not that drug, it's this drug. Or the therapists who become your best friends in certain postings. Working in a hospital is like clockwork. It takes well-lubricated and well-maintained years to have best patient outcomes. After a while, you realise the intricacies that lie beyond yourself and your responsibilities in this community. 